three, two, one. Hey everybody, Cheesehead Chris coming at you today. Um, I'm still alive. <laughs> Thanks for all those who watched the that two-part series. It was fun to do. We got a lot of compliments on the whole series, so. Thanks a lot. So we're going to continue with that theme today, though. Oh, by the way, I am back at the uh, fire tower. So, and we're just across the road from the local uh, shooting range, and are a week out uh, for deer season starts uh, this Saturday. So you might hear some shooting going on. But back to what I was going to say. We are going. Well, first of all, I then that didn't necessarily break down, but I recently purchased one of these little Luxata stoves that you see going around. I got the came with the stove and the little Trangia burner or Luxata burner, I guess you would call this. Um, I got it for, I don't know, $17 off of um, Walmart. I actually had a um, gift card that I had to use up. And so we are going to do its first burn on it. Um, and I'm not sure, depending on how things go, this might be a two-part series, but um, we will, uh, we're going to make, since my demise came from it, we are going to make uh, some mac and cheese. Um, and I found out that my good buddy, Handy Camper, grew up <laughs> not knowing the finer things in life for dinner. He's never had mac and cheese and hot dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a special, you know, that's a, I still eat that. I'm almost 50 years old and I still eat that at least once a week. So we're just gonna snap this together. We will get things set up here. Um, say, just a little bit, you know, there is a ring somewhere, here it is. I'm not going to use, we're not going to use the, the, uh, what is this? This, it's gas stove in this. I want to try this. I've actually got a bucket. These are all, this is all scrap wood um, that I cut up into little chubs. I guess you call them chunks. And uh, we are going to uh, boil up a, a canteen cup. A water and see how it works. So and then if we got time we will uh, bring it back, get the fire going, cook up some water and we're actually what I want to try is these little, these are the Sam's Choice, these little macaroni cups. They're like, uh, like 95 cents. You see them, you fill them up with water. We're just gonna try them quick. Quick and easy meal. Typically, um, I wouldn't buy, well, I should say I wouldn't buy something like this, but I think I would, if, I, if it were me, once I, you guys would say a little experimenting too, um, as to how much, you know, water actually goes into this. And then you could easily uh, dump this all into a little plastic bag, baggy, and you know, then dump it into, uh, cook it into a canteen cup once the water is boiling. So, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to set the stove up, get her going, and uh, thanks so much. I'll bring you back once we get things going. So, do you know, interesting fact number one, that the Arctic canteen cups are perfect length for cooking, as my wife calls, green weenies. These are Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Growing up, I loved these as a kid. I still do. These were grade A, class one, eats right there. And they still do, I still eat them. Yeah, I know what they're made out of, but there's a lot of bad things made out of good stuff, or good stuff made out of bad things, something like that. So we got the other canteen cup on there. We're gonna use my Scout for Life Arctic canteen cup, since he's the one that's made these famous and I was actually able to score a couple of them. We're gonna put them in there. We're gonna put a little water. Yeah, I know, steam and hot dog. But yeah, steam and hot dog. That's in some cultures. That's called wiener soup. Yep, wiener soup. So 
just enough to get them covered a little floating once the water in the regular canteen cups going we will dump that water into this let that soak then we'll get the hot dogs on just to get them all nice and boiled up i know i'm making some of you guys sick so let's see how how we're doing there it's starting we get a good flame going down there Oops, sorry so we'll bring it back when we switch everything over all right let's see what we got here I think it's boiling enough. You adjust the wood here. Take that off. Yeah, I had this found this little trivet at uh, the thrift store. I picked it up. Fits just perfect. And then put in the pots fit good on there too. So we're just gonna we'll put that on there and just uh, try to keep it. And we're gonna dump. Let's see here. Look at what's inside there. If you haven't had these, no cheese, these little shells. And I'm just gonna fill up. There's a little line right here. I'll just fill that up to that. We're gonna let that. cook up a little bit. Get those hot dogs warmed up. See how this all goes. We're gonna get that water. We're gonna dump this. What the hell's going on it over there? But this water's already warm. Not just saying, don't you just use the this cup, but the hot dog set in that cup, so alrighty. We seem to have gotten Pretty good coal base down there. Those are wieners or hot dogs. I don't really call them wieners, I call them hot dogs. They're boiling. But we're gonna try something here. Get my utensils all. I guess you call this that depth of flavor they would say on the Food Network. We'll grill them up a little bit. Get that char. I know what some of you are saying, why did you do that from the get-go? But I wanted to use my Arctic cup. So, well, let's see if I'm getting hungry. And I just got a call from the boss. And I got she made me an appointment. I have to go meet somebody. So we're gonna see. I think these are about done. They've been sitting for quite a while. So we're just gonna leave mix everything in here. We're gonna mix the cheese in here. I'm assuming this is just like cheese whiz. God dang it, dogs. I think these were Parmesan peppers, but these were this way it was. Oh, I don't that look appetizing. <laughs> Mix this all up. Say this is aged white cheddar with black pepper. That's what it is. Thank you. 
you know I think we'll have to well I'll definitely do the mountain house mac cheese again just because <laughs> I did jack that up so bad flavor wise but this actually doesn't look get it going that doesn't look too bad really but we're trying to add the best apart the, whatever the resistance or whatever the heck they are gonna take our hot dog here take my little cutting board <laughs> Drop that up. Woo, that's hot. I know what you're saying, it's falling on the rock. Well, that gives it extra flavor. Throw that in there with the, wow. And what you're saying, and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, yep, that made it hot, all right. We'll cool that off for the pups. Mix this up. There you have it, folks. Doesn't really smell too bad, per se. It says cracked pepper. I'm not sure if that's cracked pepper or ash. Here we go, the old taste test. You got the big old hot dog in there. Get your nose out of there. Big black dog, he's spotted, he's found hot dogs. Yours, you'll get some. Not bad. Not bad at all, really. Like I said, I think if you were to leave it in this cup, or even if you put it in a small baggie, figure out exactly what the line is, how much water you need. Probably half a cup, third of a cup. You could easily make it in a canteen cup. or Definitely use some more spices. Maybe a little salt. Oh, Parmesan pepper. I know, Texas Pete. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, folks. Guys and gals, thank you for joining me. Um, see if we can get out here some more. First burn on the Trangia stove. I think it worked good. I'd say there's a. I still got to do some uh, experimenting with it, some learning. But. Uh, it seems to have worked fine. We uh, we will try the, the the fuel burner, gas burner here, transient stove. Next, I'm sure that worked just as fine. Um, and, ooh, excuse me. Try it with some combination, some of these little blocks. But then I want to also try. Excuse me, with um, some uh, those wood pellets and stuff. So I think it's a you say. There's a lot of expensive stoves out there. I just don't have the budget for them. And uh, I've seen these, saw it, and it was, say, kind of on sale. I figured, what the hell, just try it, see what happens. So, till next time, keep her cheesy. Cheese head on.